the, especially Horwain, as you can see the pull up. Okay, see that? I have the fat Herbie in my hand from Ashland Leather, so let's go. Ashland Leather, this is the fat Herbie. All right, I love that wax seal in the front. Uh, just elegance in what they put together here. This looks like a kind of a cheesecloth. Oh, and here we go. Oh, man. I just love Horween leather. Uh, this is an English tan Dublin, but also comes in other types of leathers and colors. Now, if we look at the sewing on this, we can see that uh, this is machine sewn, but we do have reinforcement in all the proper places. It does look good. Gets a good burnishing on this one. And uh, this is more of a taller vertical. So why was it called Fat Herbie? Well, you might know Fat Albert, but that's a different person. Hey, hey, hey! It's Fat Albert! On the exterior, we have a cash slot. This is where cash goes. This will also fit a passport in a pinch. It's that tall. We go to the interior. We have four slots. One, two, three, four. This is for cards. Capacity up to 16 cards. And really, the distribution allows this wallet to lay flat when closed. This wallet measures 5.2 by 4 by 0.4, and it weighs 100 grams of Horween goodness. Now, anything of Horween is an instant trip to the old factory fantasy, and so... Oh. <laughs> You know, it's got eight cards, six slips of cash. I, this thing just swallows cash. I mean, there's no issues on the height of the currencies, uh, especially when we're talking about the taller ones like Euro and Yen. So no issues there. Company recommends up to 16 cards. So really four in each slot. I put two in each slot. And of course, uh, it just, this is a nice coat pocket type wallet. Uh, one again that you could put a passport in, in a pinch, and it means, I don't know, I think I would probably use this is what I would do. It is designed and made in the United States, in Chicago specifically. It's made from a Horween English Dublin Veg Tan Leather, which I already smelled it. It has a lot of goodness to it. The Horween Tannery is located in Chicago, so it's just a short trip uh, for the quality leather that Ashland uses. Now, the thing I love about Ashland Leather is, and the, especially Horween, is you can see the pull-up. Okay, see that? That's the changing of the color here. I mean, that is the tannins, those are the dyes, uh, all of that's in the leather, and that is called a pull-up, and it's just amazing. I just love that. And that's what gives the flexibility, but also the feel to it. It gives the smell to it. Uh, it's just, I would say, the best leather in the world. This is a natural finish, aniline leather, so you get all the variations in the hide. You can kind of see those here, the striations that we get in the height of the animal that we got to it, got from it. You see that right down there? As I mentioned in the beginning, machine sewn, the weight of the leather, I think, is very well equipped. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, uh, but it is very, very sufficient uh, by way of its weight in this particular wallet. The burnishing is also well done. Continues to show the layered colors of leather. You can see the colors as they differentiate themselves, which adds interest and texture. Now this wallet, is $135. It's gone up $10 since I purchased it originally. Usability wise, I really find the exterior cash pocket visually more attractive than a normally integrated bifold where you open it like this. For some reason, I really kind of have warmed up to this type of design. And for on this wallet, the height of this wallet really allows it to still drop lower over here than the top piece on the interior, which gives you easy access into the cash or whatever else you may want to put in here. Now, with all these inconveniences comes size. This is not a small wallet. It is fairly tall. And it might start as a thin wallet, but it also is tall, which primarily makes this a back pocket or really, like I said, an interior coat pocket type wallet. Ashland makes their products very deliberately, very do very extensive testing before they release a new model to the public. This has a lifetime guarantee on it, on the leather and stitching, which they'll fix or replace for free. So who is Fat Herbie? Well, he's a very eccentric and physically large gangster named Herbert Blitzstein, who started in Chicago, then moved to Las Vegas to skim casino winnings for the mob, as well as loan sharking, fencing stolen goods, and extortion. Now, he spent time in jail and was only out a few years before he was murdered by rival member members from the mob from New York and Los Angeles. Now on to the final score. Quality of five, price of two. I would expect it to be hand stitched for this price. Features of three, usability of four, very easy, and perception of five. Ashland makes fantastic products, and that gives us a great score, four out of five. 
We've reviewed several Ashland Leather wallets. They're all awesome. So look at this video next, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.